I've had people ask me, why meditate on the breath? When the time comes that you're going to die, the breath is going to leave you. Then your meditation topic is going to abandon you right when you need it. But when we meditate on the breath, it's not just the breath we're going to learn about. More importantly, we learn about the mind. You need to give the mind a point to focus on, or a topic to focus on. Only then can you really observe it. Otherwise, if you follow it as it wanders around, you get lost as it goes every which way. But if you focus in on one thing, then if there are any other little movements in the mind, you can detect them. You can see which direction they're pushing, and you can resist the push. That's important. If you don't resist the push, it's hard to say that your meditation is really any kind of meditation at all. So you've got to give the mind a good, solid place to stay. Solid in the sense that it's good to stay here. It feels good to stay here. You're happy to stay here. So work with the breath. And also work with your conversation inside about what you're talking to yourself about as you stay with the breath. You can encourage yourself. If you catch yourself wandering off, you can say no. And because you'll be saying yes to the breath, you won't be saying no all the time. There was nothing but no, 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 no in the mind. After a while, the mind is going to rebel. So yes to any thoughts that deal with the breath, that explore the breath. They're trying to get you alert to what's going on in the mind around the breath, particularly the perceptions you build around the breath, the images you hold in mind, about what the breath is doing in the body. And you'll notice that the mental picture you have of the breathing is going to affect the way your muscles breathe. So think of a picture that lets everybody breathe together, and then try to stick with that perception. There will be a sense of well-being that comes as the, the body is breathing in harmony. Then when the temptation comes to go to someplace else, it's a lot less tempting, because you've got a good place to stay right here. It's like someone driving up. You're standing on the side of the road, and it's hot, and the sun is out, you're sweating, you're thirsty, and someone drives up in a car, air-conditioned car, and says, hey, come with me. You're much more likely to jump in. But if you're staying in an air-conditioned place yourself, you've got plenty of food, plenty of shelter, plenty of things to drink, someone comes by like that and you say, no, you're a stranger, I don't know I want to go with you. Learn to see your thoughts as strangers. And you begin to realize how much you are complicit in their formation. Little urges come up in the mind. We give them names. We give them meanings. And then we go with them. And sometimes we give them names because they are familiar or they are similar to other times when we thought about a particular topic, so we just pick up that topic. Other times you've got an agenda right now that's something some part of your mind wants to think about, so when there's an opportunity to go, you go. Take up that topic. These are the things you want to learn to watch. And you can see them more clearly as you stay focused here, as you stay settled here. So we're with the breath, but not to catch the breath. We're with the breath to catch the mind. It's like catching a thief. You give something for the thief to want to steal, and then you just stay right there. In this case, the mind wants to have some pleasure. You can't give it some pleasure right here. And then when the parts of the mind want to come and steal away, you've caught them. Because you're less tempted to go with them, you're less tempted to side with them. And that's how you come to really understand the mind, and you understand the processes of the mind that will be really important to know, not only as you're here sitting here comfortably breathing, but when the time comes when you have to stop breathing. You've got to leave the body. You'll understand the processes that happen in the mind at that point, and you'll be in a lot more control.